Thursday, Wednesday, September 11th, 2024. Capturing the beautiful blue sky. Another beautiful day. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Ephesians 4 verse 31 Good morning my sweet friends. Welcome back to Anna's Mobile Home Life and if you're new, welcome. In this video, I've been very busy this morning. I will show you what I've been up to. And then I'm going to make something to eat. So let me turn you around and I'll show you what I've been doing today. First, I wanted to show you I changed up my curtains. I switched the butterfly curtains to a brown valance. And I have the white um, underneath. So I got that done this morning. I also switched up the curtains for fall. It is what I had on hand. I got brown curtains with the sheer in between. I put some of the, I changed up the flowers. I need to get some placemats for this season. So I'm working on that. Also, I just did a little change to my coffee bar. I put some of the little flowers there. I thought that looked cute. I kept the ivy there. Excuse the pots and pans. I'm still in the process of doing things. But I figured I'd take a break and show you what I've been up to. So that is the curtains in the kitchen window. And then let me see if I could get a better view. Don't mind the background. I got my broom back there still because I'm still working on that. But that is what I got going. I got to look around and see what placemats I'm going to get. But that'll be upcoming. Once I get them, I will show you. So now I'm going to turn you around and we're going to make some lunch. Okay, my friends, you guys know in my previous videos, the grocery haul that I did, I did not get the dough for the pizza that I've been craving. I've got a couple comments mentioning making it, uh, trying to make it on these Italian rolls that I had in the grocery haul. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm going to give it a try. First, I have some butter here. I'm going to get some in this microwave safe dish. And I'm going to get it in the microwave. Sorry, I got to plug it in. I always unplug it. Get the lid so it don't splatter. I'm gonna put it in for like one minute increments. Okay, it took less than 30 seconds, but I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. So we're gonna get that back in. Put this lid on. 
and I'm just going to listen for it because I could hear it splattering. It shouldn't take that long. We're just going to get that melted through. Let's see what we got. Not quite yet. Another few seconds. All right, that should be good. There's a little chunk in there. It'll melt as it goes. So I'm gonna bring you back around. All right, so we got our butter here. Get my spoon. I have some minced garlic here. I'm gonna add some of that. I'm gonna add some parsley flakes. All right. Guys, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but it's worth a try. I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. All right. And some garlic powder. Now I'm going to mix that together. I don't have a basting brush, so I'm going to have to drizzle it on somehow. As I make things, that's how I know when I need to get pick up things. Like the tongs, I still have to get. So maybe when I order the tongs, I'll get a basting brush. So I'm going to drizzle this butter mixture. Let me bring this closer. Over the edges here. The inside of the roll. I'll show you once it's done. Get some on here. Okay. I hope this is enough. Do this top piece. We got the nice minced garlic throughout. Okay, make sure I get the edges. There's a little bit more here. Let's see what needs it. This top piece. All right. We'll see how this turns out. There's still a little bit more in here. I'll use what I got. So that is what it looks like right now. So I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to stick this in and air fry it until it's toasted. I just want to get it crispy before I add the toppings and I'm making a mess. So I'm going to hit air fry. I'm going to hit it for five minutes. I don't know if it's going to take that long. So once it's ready, I will come back and tell you how long it took. All right, my friends. It just went off the five minutes. Perfect. That five minutes was perfect. So I'm going to turn you around. 
All right, so we got the toasted rolls. I have some of the Prego pizza sauce that was in the grocery haul. I am going to add that. each to each section of the rolls it's soaking it up okay let's get this one I'm looking forward to this, guys. Hopefully it tastes good and turns out right. I can see that garlic in there. That's good. Garlic is good for you when you're not feeling well. Today I got quite a bit of a headache. I woke up with it, but I still kept busy. But I think after this, I'm just going to finish my floors down the hall there. And a little bit in the kitchen. I was washing the floors this morning. This one needs more. All right. I'll show you what we got. That's what it looks like right now. All right. Now I'm gonna add some grated Parmesan cheese. Move this forward a little bit. All right. Next I'm gonna add the two cheese pizza, the shredded cheese. It's, um, a natural blend of low moisture whole milk mozzarella and not smoked provolone is what it says. So we're going to add lots of cheese. Gotta, I love lots of cheese on my pizza. So we're just going to add... Whatever desired amount you like. Cover all the edges. Got to have that cheese in every bite. At least I do. <laughs> I'm a cheese monster, guys. I love cheese, as you can tell. All right. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. And some parsley. I'm going to add some pepperoni to the one roll, and the other one I'm just going to keep as cheese. So we're going to add some pepperoni here. Okay. All right. 
right. All right, that's what it looks like right now. Whoops, it's sliding. I'm going to add it back to air fry. I'm going to hit air fry. It's at 400 degrees. I'm going to hit start. And we'll do five minutes again to see how that works. Okay. I'll keep my eye on it and I'll come back. Okay, my friends, I took a peek. I'm going to wait till there's one minute left. So it'll probably be done at four minutes. So it'll be a total of nine minutes to make these in the air fryer. So there's 23 seconds left because I had it set for five minutes and it was just about done when I just checked. And I will show you That is what it looks like. I'm going to set it over here. And I am going to plate it up and I will be back. All right, there it is. It looks good. Now for the test. Let me get a fork. I put one piece of the plain cheese and one of the pepperoni. Let's try the pepperoni. It's crispy. Here we go. Mm. Oh yeah. That two cheese pizza cheese is very good. It's got very good flavor. In between this the cheese melting and everything, I got some, the rest of the dishes washed that I had a few things from making this lunch. Here's a second bite. Mmm. Guys, I'm a happy camper now. <laughs> um, I just got a bite of that pepperoni. Yum. So now I'm going to take a bite of just a plain cheese. Okay. Mm. Even the plain cheese is delicious. That pizza sauce, if you get pizza sauce, get the Prego. Very, very good. It's very good pizza sauce. This is satisfying my craving. I am so happy. Finally, get my pizza. Mm. Sorry, I had to turn off the microwave. It was, it was blinking. Guys, I highly recommend giving that a try. If you're in the mood for pizza, I bet you that'll work on plain bread too. I thought about that, but then I thank you all 
who have suggested that in the comments. You guys made my day. I didn't even think of that. It's all, like pretty much like a French bread pizza. With that said, I'm going to go relax. The tires are starting to hit me and I still have to finish what I started. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And feel free to leave a comment. I love uh, reading your comments. It makes my day each and every day. Once again, I love you all. And I will see you next time.